It's raining on Hopash Island. 26 degrees. Not a care in the world. You? You? No. Nut. There's no one around. Check it out. And it's not snow. Holbosch Island. We're gonna go find some coffee. We're gonna head to a mosquito point. Apparently you have to walk on a sandbar for kilometers, miles, meters. It's gonna be a gnarly day. We have no idea what we're gonna get up to. We're located about two and a half hours by vehicle northwest of Cancun. Then you have to get on a boat, another 30 minute boat ride to Isla Holbosch, Quintana Roo, Mexico. Ready? I'm so ready. Let's go. Well, before we do, here's the room. Put your stuff there. Nice view, normal size. What's that, a double? Queen? Double, ha! And uh, yeah, standard bathroom. Warm water, which is great. Uh, we've been in many places in Mexico where it doesn't get warm. And sink, and toilet, don't flush paper, and cappuccino time. So we're in the courtyard now of this hostel. What do we pay? 60 US? 40? 47 US? Yeah. 47 US. It's a pretty cool island. The roads are all underwater, always underwater. So, I mean, the water level, the water table, so high, right? And no inter infrastructure because the island's being developed. Yeah. It doesn't drain, there's nowhere to go. Where's it gonna go, the ocean? The ocean comes to the road. Cafe. Hola. Alright, Steph bought coffee mugs, so back to the hotel and we'll try and start the entire uh, adventure and video all over again. <laughs> Through the water. We'll get cappuccinos. Alright, let's try this again. Alright friends, we are headed to Mosquito Point, which you allegedly walk uh, two via the ocean if the sandbar is showing and exposed having a clue what time of day that happens So you're gonna join the adventure as we do in real time But the only way to get there is to walk down the ocean not a bad way to spend a Thursday morning Oh no. Okay, this is cool. Oh, look at all the water toys there Oh, well, the sand is beautifully beautifully white, white sand. It's white sand at home, too, but that's because it's covered in snow and frost <laughs> And it's like, not like Florida, like, oh wow, you can just get food at any of the, the resort bars as you walk. Horseshoe crab. What's this one? Colorful coral. Gnarly. And the endangered broom head. So in order to get to Holbosch, Isla Holbosch, we flew to Cancun and had to hop on a bus, two and a half hour bus ride to Chaquila, which is the port on mainland. Then you have to hop on a boat and take a ferry 30 minutes uh, north to Isla Holbosch, where we are right now. Oh wow, look, the tide's going out. So the island is still being developed. Look at this massive resort that's going up there. Holbosch Island located, I think I already told you, two and a half hours northwest of Cancun. What I understand is this has become the sort of vacation spot for our friends that live in Mexico and want to get out of the tourist trap. 
they come here. That's what we saw on YouTube. So not a lot of tourists here currently, but it's still quite populated. It rained all day yesterday. I think maybe that's why everybody's out today. Yeah. Sunshine! Just to give you an idea, it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning in January on a Thursday. And there's not a lot of foot traffic. I said, you know, there are a lot of people out. I think I'm speaking relative to what it was yesterday and not like Miami, Florida. There's nobody relative to those other places. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that That's what I meant. Like this way, like there's, right? <laughs> Just exercise and walk and film and everyone's TikToking. Okay, can you see the, the seaweed lines in the boat? Hold on. The boats, they're all they're all tied up here. So high tide, low tide. I, I think it goes out further from everything we've read. It's supposed to just be beach for miles. There, high tide. On our first night, I think this is day three, here uh, on this island, we sat right here, surrounded by water at sunset. <laughs> right here, there was water all around us. It's pretty cool. Oh, sunshine. Bonjour. You see that? It's a baby flamingo. It's a baby flamingo. First one. He's putting on a dance for us. Okay guys, we're getting close to the sandbar type area. So this is where I guess you can walk out this way to the tip, to the point, and uh, cut off the coastline. So it's a shorter walk this time of day. Come with. It's all, it's all filling in here. There's a seaweed line up there. Or I suppose this is going out this time of day. That's what's happening. Receding. Pretty cool how the seaweed comes in and some of this I think is where the bioluminescent bay is out there which is algae. That's what makes it glow. I'm not sure if this is the right time of year to see that. It is a bit better seasonally but there's a free bioluminescent bay in that direction down the coastline. Folks also come here to swim with whale sharks. Not this time of year, also seasonally, but that's something that locals come and experience in Mexico, viva la Mexico. Okay, we're getting close now. This is where the sandbar ends. No, sandbar begins because it's underwater. Look, there's no more shore. It's all glass and people on foot. So we're gonna follow the crowd out to the point. here knows what's up. He's got a big walking stick. He knows what's up. Must get deep. Okay, well, we're shin deep now. Barely. Notice the sandbar starts to peek through again, just up a ways. So if you notice, the waves are turning here, right here. So it's probably, that's probably the shallowest. Not here. I mean, it's knee deep, as you can see, but, uh, they have buoys out there to almost mark it like it's a road. There's one. And so, also for boats, right? But to mark where it's shallow is you walk all the way out to the tip, ignoring the coastline. And then on the other side of the point, it's all protected land, like conservation area is what we call it at home, where I'm from. It's like federal crowned land, nature reserve on uh, just past this mosquito point. Mm. Well, all right, the end of the next portage. What'd you see? In the water. Yeah. That's Brian's cue to get out. <laughs> to get me back to sand. So here we are at the next jet out. Again, Mosquito Point, Holbosh Island. If you want to give it a, a Google search or check it out on the TikToks. We're following the trend here and that's to walk on the sandbar out to the point. You can only do it at certain times of the day. 
Make sure you buy bug spray on mainland. It's here. It's a little bit marked up, right? Supply and demand. You're on an island. Well, we're getting closer back into another portage, <laughs> back into another uh, bay of water. We can kind of see the point it's starting to clear up. We've been walking for about 45 minutes now. Not complaining, not a care in the world. Just following the flow of traffic. And that, that's what I mean by flow of traffic. Almost stepped on my friend here. Almost stepped on my friend. That's its foot. Yeah. Hi, Fred. There goes Steph. Putting the sea here, training back in the sea. Way out there. Probably noticed we pull over on the side of the road, all our videos at home, because she's moving turtles. She's playing the sea urgent back out to the sea, which is what the tide's for. But what do I know? She's still going. <laughs> All right, here we go. And the tide's coming in, so I'm getting a little bit nervous about how long the sand's going to remain because do you have to walk back in the water? It's just going to take longer. I'm not complaining. Or do you have to go up to the road? It's just going to take longer. I don't know. I got camera gear and stuff in my backpack. So anyway. Full vlog today, you got it all. Well, it looks like we got kayak rentals. Go out while the water's shallow. We're coming up with some signs. Coming up to some signs, so I think it's probably going to say uh, Zona Federal, Federal Zone, as in conservation area. No trespass. That way, right? Shh. Sleeping flamingos. Sleeping flamingos. No drones, so we're gonna go back and pop the bird in the sky on the way back. Our own, we brought it all the way here. I don't know if you can see, it's roped off. That's the end. We'll get to the end, reconvene. Is it creepy? Yep, to me it is. Look, when I go fishing in Lake Erie, I have to get Steph to take the fish off the hook. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I can barely put the worms on. <laughs> oh, she's picking them up. I got two. I know. Put them back in the home. Set them free. I want to get to the end. Set them free. Oh, jeez. Well, okay, look at them all. Happy? Well, we're at the end. We have been oh, walking another for... One. <laughs> another one. We're at the end. We've been walking. I'll leave her there. We've been walking for about an hour. All the guides, all the internet says, you have to come out here, you have to do it. I'll be honest with you. It's the experience of the walk. There's nothing at the end. But who can complain about walking 60 minutes in the ocean on a sandbar in Holbosch, three hours from Cancun? Not us. I can't wait anymore. We're gonna run to the end. I saw the sign. Not this one. This one. <laughs> this is it. This is the boundary to the federal park. If you actually look at the map of Holbosch Island, the part where it's touristy or residential is very tiny compared to the actual land mass of the island, but it's all protected uh, by the federal government of Mexico. Let's check out what this sign says here and look in the lagoon. Looks beautiful, it is beautiful. I won't lie to you though, you can't smell it. Standing water on the ocean there are parts of the shoreline that just don't recede. So if you live near bodies of water, that's why it's called Mosquito Point. It's all, it's like uh, marsh, what we call the harbor back at home. 
um, you know, standing water that's two, three feet deep. You can imagine what that would smell like. All right. Oh, just to say I did. Just to say I did. Because I'm the first person to ever do that here on this shoreline, right? <laughs> I do what I want. there's home somewhere up there and we're there <laughs> I'm just saying we're there and home is somewhere up there we saw. the Osprey we've seen this, was what we this saw. is what we just saw was it not a flamingo no, this, this is what we just saw look at his neck. ah egret reddish egret see not a, flamingo. not a flamingo just as much fun though wear your bracelet well we're not on a resort we're hostile life but uh, here's the end. Barbara DeWire, protected. No tourists, we shall go back. Are you stepping on that? No, I don't want to step on that. No, no thank you. Picking up garbage. Old sandbag, cement bag maybe, floated in. I don't know. What are you doing with it? It's not so heavy, yep. and I'm gonna pick up any more plastic I see on the way back. Let's do it. Beach clean. I think the world needs more hippie stuffs. Does it get better than that? There isn't much sandbar left now. It's uh, almost 11 o'clock in the morning, so tide's coming in. That's the point. We're on our way back. This was all sand on our way out. And we're out. Next portage. <laughs> well, here comes a water taxi. You can rent them to tour the island from that side. Where are you? There. Right there. It's a full one. Hola. And... Good score. Good score. No, seriously, come on, good score. Well, as most tourists do, always do your homework before you come. Everything we read, all the videos we watched said bug spray. That became a mission. We picked up bug spray as we were told on the mainland before we got here. And I think I have one mosquito bite. <laughs> Uno. So don't believe everything you read on the internet, especially this video. And if you're reading this video, that's amazing. Well, the people are starting. It's so funny watching them all walk in a line on the shallowest parts. Glad we came when we did. We came around 9.30, 10 a.m. It's getting closer to noon now. It's a good two hour round trip on foot. If you take your time and look at nature and pick up garbage. Looks like we're about waist deep now. These folks walking here seems to be up to there. It's above their knees anyway. We'll see. Pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Ankle deep. It's about to get deeper. Okay. 
almost waist deep. Again, coming in, it wasn't, and that was about an hour ago. <laughs> so we picked the right time. Steph's still picking up bottles. How many have you found? Three? Half of pot bottles, like homemade funnels, probably from boating, right? Or bailing water out and they float up. It's the ocean. Someone's gotta clean it up. That's what they are. They're for bailing out of the boats, out of the water taxis. There's some cool villas here we might look at staying at the side. Another one that's being built here. Uh, so this part's been developed, but all this is, is new. The cement telephone poles on the island are all stamped with the dates. Quite a few of them say 2006. So I imagine 20 years ago, uh, 18 years ago at the turn of the century, there were some investments here. I know Acapulco was busy in the 60s, 70s and 80s, and I guess Cancun kind of took over, so to speak. Some of the telephone poles say 2023. So as recent as, you know, three weeks ago, some of the infrastructure went up to hit corner pockets of the island that we have been exploring. Well, the clouds are starting to roll in. Looks like we're going to get stranded by rain and the tide. I think that means it's time for us to haul our little behinds out of here. We're going to leave you here. Some folks, if they don't hurry, going to get stranded by the tide. As always, peace and love. Catch you on the next one. Whole Bosch Island, Quintana Roo, Mexico. Peace! Well, show the world. Ocean treasures cleaned up by the Steffers. <laughs> Give us a thumb and a subscribe for that one. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video. Take you on a tour of the flooded streets of Holbox. Always underwater. Thanks. Alcohol free.